you go this time? Go get it. Go get it, Mermelie. Fetch the ball. Good girl. Now, bring it back. That's it. Bring it back. Oh, not again. No, Marmalade! Marmalade? Huh? Marmalade! Huh? Where's your ball? Oh, you want another ball, huh? I've been trying to teach you to fetch, not hide. We're running out of balls. Now this time, bring it back, okay? Oh, uh. Bring it back, bring it back, Marmalade, to me. Bring it here, to me. To me? Good girl, good girl. <laughs> huh? Naughty girl, naughty girl. Now where do you think you're going with that? Morning, Orange. Oh, hi. What's wrong? Oh, Cherry, I've been trying all morning to teach Marmalade to fetch balls, but all she does is run off with them. I don't know where she goes, but when she comes back, the balls are gone. Huh? There you are. Where have you been? This is our last ball. Cinepup knows how to fetch. Maybe if she showed Marmalade how. Oh, that's a great idea, Cherry. Worth a try. Cinepup! Wanna play fetch the ball? Huh? Fetch the ball? Go get it, girl! Good, Good catch! Uh, 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 uh. Hey! Marmalade! That isn't polite! <laughs> Marmalade? Where did you go? Marmalade! Oh, what has gotten into that puppy? Where does she go? You know, Strawberry helped me teach Cinepup how to fetch. Maybe if you asked her, she could help you with Marmalade. I'll take her to see Strawberry. As soon as she comes back, that is. Marmalade! <laughs> oh! <laughs> See what I mean? Come on, you. We're going to visit Strawberry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love you, too. Come on. Want to see Strawberry? <laughs> Let's go see Strawberry. Enjoy the eye mask, and uh, I'm gonna add some extra special berry conditioning, a uh, conditioner, to your new hairdo. Uh, sure. Okay, Lemon. Now, Plum, just lie back and enjoy that eye mask. <laughs> Uh, it feels like you're rinsing me, not putting in conditioner. Well, it works best wet, you know. But 
Why did you just dry our hair then? Um, relaxation? Let's just use the, uh, handheld dryer this time, okay? Is something wrong, Lemon? No! Why do you ask? what you're doing to fix things, but could we have just a minute of quiet so we can figure out what we're going to do with the rest of the day? Oh, uh, sure. No problem. You got it. I vote we wait around in Soundproof Blueberry's bookstore and... It might not be practical. Ride our scooters to Berry Biddy Dale and back? And 
And, uh, back again? We need juice power for that, too. I vote we spend the entire day bored. No! Okay, bored and frustrated. No! I mean, this is a great opportunity. For what? Something new. Something exciting. Fun, different. Like... Like... Hmm. Our own sporting event. What kind of sporting oh. event? Well, I don't know. How about a relay race? Our own very bitty relay race. Huh. Uh -huh. Interesting. And why bitty? Why not go for very, very big? A relay race on land, on water, and in the sky. Yeah! We'll have teams. We'll start at the lake with a sailboat race. Yeah! And then you pass the baton to the next team. Uh, uh... <gasps> a steeplechase on frogs! Yeah! Fun! Great! Wow! Sounds wonderful! And then they pass the baton to the third team. A sky race! Flying on birds! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I like strawberry so fun. Fun. All in favor? Aye! <laughs> <laughs> well then, I guess it's unanimous. Come on, let's go. I oh, can't wow. wait! <laughs> this is gonna be fun! Come on, let's go! Huh? Hey, where do you think you're going? To watch the sporting event of the year? Where else? Do you want to miss it? No, but... Oh, we can't. We got a job to do. Oh, uh, just for a little while. Uh, if the boss saw us leave, we'd be in trouble. But if he didn't see us leave... Keep at it. We have to find that block. Careful, Earl! There he is! Quick, before he sees us! All right, Cherry is racing for Team 1. And Plum for Team 2. Okay, you zigzag through those buoys to the other side of the lake. Then turn around, and it's a straight shot back to the dock. Good luck! <laughs> You're gonna do it! We'll be cheering for ya! <laughs> Think win! On your mark, get set. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Marmalade, no! That's not a toy. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to teach her. <laughs> That's okay. Ready? On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> see where we're going. <sighs> Look down, Earl. What do you see? My feet. And what else? Your feet. Ugh. What else, Earl? Rocks? Right! Rocks! When we get to the lake, we'll look down and see lake! <laughs> Thank you. 
You too. Come on, the frogs are that way. <laughs> this I can't wait to see. <laughs> oh, we missed the boat race. Come on, we'll take a shortcut. But I can't see them. Huh? I can see them. How close are they? You don't want to know, Earl. But this turned out to be a, a bigger job than we thought. Oh, yeah, um, uh, really big. But we'll have everything up and running by morning. Guaranteed. No problem. If it isn't finished, I'm sure we'll find a way to entertain ourselves. You can do it. Yes, that's right. Well, I'm tired. How about you guys? Ooh, I'm not here for bed. bed. Oh, can't wait. wait for tomorrow. Marmalade? Ooh, doggone it! Where'd that puppy go? Once 
Once upon a time, a long time ago, a princess named Coconut Cupcake was taking a stroll, and she came upon a troll. Ooh. The troll guarded a bridge, a troll who let no one pass without paying the toll. Princess Coconut Cupcake ordered the troll who takes the toll to lower the bridge so she might cross. But you must pay the toll, insisted the troll who takes the toll. Ha! Huh, says you, I am Princess Coconut Cupcake, and you must do as I say, said Princess Coconut Cupcake in an ever so high and mighty manner. That was not really good manners at all. <laughs> Heel? Heel, heel! Help! <laughs> oh, so much for heel. Heel refused to pay the toll to the troll. She said, "I will find my own way." Uh, well, and what I do you say? I thought it sounded like story time. I'm sorry to interrupt. It's actually a good place to stop. <laughs> We're just at the end of the chapter. We'll find out what the little asparagus told the princess next time. Yay! Bye bye. 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 bye, kids. Wow, they really love that story. Every time I read it to them, it's like they're first. You know, Plum has been asking for ideas for a play to direct, and I'm wondering if she could do a berry fairy tale as a play. You know, put on a show for the kids. That's a great idea. I'll loan her my big book of Berry Can Berry Fairy Tales. Huh? This is great! What a super idea! You don't know how long I've been trying to decide which play to do. And how special to do something for the Berry Can Kids. It'll be like a cozy little story time on stage. Perfect! Thanks, girls! <laughs> 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 nice one, Plum! Thank you, Orange! <laughs> oh. Well, hello there, Plum! Huh? <gasps> oh, Cherry, I'm so sorry! Oh, no! I kind of squashed your very big Glitz and Glamour magazine! I'm really... Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins. Colossal Smash Stage Play at Berry Big City Theater. Oh, yeah. It's huge. Biggest thing to hit Berry Big Broadway in years. It's packing in the audiences. Snowberry and the Seven Berry Kids? That's a big production. Wow. You know, I could do something sensational with that play. I would direct it. Bigger. Better. I could make it a bigger hit than it is in Berry Big City. I thought you were just putting something together for the Berry King kids. You know, a cozy little story time on stage. Huh? Oh, sure, sure. But this, this, this will be bigger and better. And when the final curtain falls and the applause of the audience is ringing in the rafters, no one will say that Plum can't direct a smash hit. I don't think anyone's saying that. And they won't! I'll direct a play that will make Berry Bitty City the talk of the theater world! <laughs> mirror, mirror, at my command! Mirror, Tell mirror, me my Barry command! Ferris. Tell me who is land. Barry Fairest in all the land. I've been to a lot of auditions in my time, and I've never had to wait this long. How long have we been here? Oh, since before lunch. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. <sighs> okay, that's it. I'm gonna find out what's going on. Why are you dressed like that? We thought we might have a better chance if we all dressed for the part. I'm guessing you're all trying out for Snowberry? Well, uh, yeah, of course. I mean, well, yes. And may the best gown, I mean, girl, win. Mm -hmm. Inspired, Barry Kinvani. 
Tony. Simply inspired. Now, you are a tree in a forest. What kind of tree? You know, am I a maple, an oak, spruce, birch fir, mulberry, hemlock, chestnut, pecan, silver fir, walnut, white fir, aspen, jeffrey pine, lodgepole pine, uh, loblolly pine? Give me a moment. Okay, here it is. You are a redwood. So, as a redwood, how would you, from deep within your redwood heart, from the very depths of your redwood soul, sing this note? Ah! Hmm. A good start, but I'm not believing it yet. Plum? Oh, hi, Strawberry. Um, I believe there are others in line ahead of you. Plum? Yes? It's dark outside, and there are a lot of folks waiting. Do you think we might move the rest of the auditions to the morning? Oh. <laughs> Goodness. Time just flies when I'm in my zone. A good idea, Strawberry. But I've got a big show to cast, so we better start early. People! People! All right, that's a wrap for tonight. Auditions continue first thing in the morning. How's this, huh? La! La! <laughs> Maybe it should be somewhat sweeter. Sweeter? Oh, well, how did Plum say she wanted it for the play? Huh? There they are, our stars. Hey, congrats! Congratulations! Ah, uh, thank very you very much. I'm so excited she picked me to play Snowberry. I can't believe I actually got the role, the part. But, uh, I'm a little kind of, uh, nervous. Well, Raspberry, you're gonna be fabulous. <laughs> I just know it. And I'm so excited to be the Berry Mean Queen, but I'm a little nervous, too. I just hope I can do it the way Plum wants it. It is I, the Berry Mean Queen. <laughs> well, it's just supposed to be a fun show for the Berrykin kids. They'll love it no matter what. I don't know. Plum's putting a lot of pressure on us. The Berry Mean Queen is who I am. It is I who am the Berry Mean Queen. That's me, Berry Mean Queen. I guess Plum really does want this show to be as grand as Berry Big City Theater's production. But how will she do that? We're Berry Bitty City. All we have is a bitty stage. Big! Think big! Curtain goes up in one week, people! No one should be reading their lines off their scripts anymore! Oh, oh, oh. oh Snowberry. We're the seven Berrykins. Plum! Huh? Your design crew is here. At last! You seven, take five and memorize those lines! So, let's talk about the big tidal wave effect in Act Two. Uh... I don't remember a title even Snowberry and the Seven Barricans. I don't think Berry Big City Theater had a tidal wave. Exactly! But we will. That's why our Snowberry play will be bigger and better than Berry Big City's production. Uh, I'm just wondering, why does our play have to be better... And bigger! <sighs> that too. Than Berry Big City's. Do you want us to be the laughing stock of the theater world? A and I'm the director, so I'll be the laughingest of the stock. I could see the headlines now. Berry Bitty City makes Berry Big Boo Boo. People pull plug on Plum. <laughs> Work with me, please. I said the Seven Berry Kids need to fly stage right to stage left, not left to right. Those launch platforms need to be built on the other side. Flying Berry Kids? I guess another thing only our Snowberry play will have. <gasps> Listen, I'm all for dreaming big, but I'm worried Plum is dreaming too big this time. Kind of going a little overboard. Somewhere she'll never find her way back from. Here comes Lemon now. Speaking of going overboard. <laughs> Very overboard. <laughs> I order you, Royal Huntsman, to leave Snowberry. Hi. Come try some coconut swirl I just made. What would the Queen of the Kingdom want with that? Fetch me a short stack and make it snappy, or to the dungeon you'll go. Why don't you join us, Lemon? 
Aw, guys, don't call me Lemon. I gotta stay in character. Join you indeed. What do you take me for? I only dine with royalty. And in the whole kingdom, tis no one as royal than I. Which means I dine alone. Lonely at the top, huh? Forsooth, yea, and verily. Wrap those pancakes up, kind peasant. To go, I'll take them, I will. Can you not see that I, the very mean queen, am in a hurry? I'm expected at a rehearsal forthwith, or the director shall have my crown. Thank you, kind peasant. Make way. Overboard is right. Do you think she'll turn back into Lemon after the play? Or will we be stuck with Berry Mean Queen forever? <laughs> <laughs> okay, try it again. Again? We're doing it till we get it right. Mirror, mirror, at my command. Tell me, who is Berry Fairest in all the land? Uh, is it Princess Berrykin? Berrykin Plume? Oh, wait, uh, don't tell me. Uh, is it J.D. Bug at the post office? No, Berry Kimbloom. We're not in Berry Bitty City right now. We're in the play Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins. And all you have to do is say your lines. Do you remember your lines? Uh, oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, the script. Um. <sighs> Give him the next line, Berry Mean Queen. Snowberry? <gasps> That's impossible! Is it? The mirror never... Oh, yes, Miss Plum, I remember now. The mirror never sighs. <sighs> lies. The mirror never lies. Oh, that's it. The mirror never lies. Yes, you got it. <sighs> Let's do it again from the top. Mirror, mirror at my command. Tell me, who is Barry Fairest in all the land? Snowberry. Snowberry? <gasps> That's impossible! The mirror never cries. Oh. Oh, deary me! Goodness gracious! I am lost in the woods. The terrible, wearable woods. Alone and frightened. It is a dark night. I am so very, very scared of the fearsome animals and wild creatures. Come on, girl. You can do it. It's your big scene. sort of home that I, I, I mean, <laughs> they would prefer. So we, uh, split, split the, the difference. difference. Oh. Plum, may I please speak with you about my lines in the scene with the Berry Mean Queen? I don't 
think they are genuine or, you know, organic or, I mean, really true to my character. <gasps> huh? <laughs> this is not how a cast behaves! It's a good idea to sit right there. Ah, yes. So pleased to make your acquaintance. I am the very mean queen. Very fairest in all the land. What? What's that you say? I am not the very fairest in all the land? Who? Whom do you speak of? Snowberry? <gasps> Curses! Who goes there? Who dares? Um, it's Strawberry and Cherry. We were wondering if you're coming to book club. <laughs> Aren't you excited, Plum? It's your dress rehearsal. No, I'm nervous. Raspberry didn't have time to sew all the costumes because she was too busy learning her lines. The tidal wave isn't big enough. The puppies don't look scary enough. Hmm? Oh, Bitterberries. They're ready. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a queen with a magic mirror. Mirror, mirror, at my command. Tell me who is Berry Fairest in all the land. Great effects, Plum. My queen, you are the berry of uh, uh, oh. uh, yeah, the berry fairest in all the land. Ah, the mirror never lies. And all was well for the queen until one day. Mirror, mirror, at my command. Tell me, who is berry fairest in all the land? Well, the, the gist of it is, there's this new kid named Snowberry who is looking pretty fair these days. What? Well, uh, did you really expect to be very fairest of the land forever? So, are you saying the Snowberry is fairer than I? Um, yes. That's impossible! Uh, the, the mirror never... Lies. <sighs> oh, uh, mm, uh, the very idea. Show me this, Snowberry. Well, okay, if you insist. Ugh! Remove her, please. No, I mean, I need her removed from the planet. Well, I'm just a mirror. Don't you need something like some uh, evil huntsman or, or something for a job like that? Huntsmen and poison apples couldn't do the job, so I'll have to do it myself. Oh, my! Oh, dear! I am done for! No, you're not, Snowberry! Curses! It's the Southern American! It just got a little bit big. 
and a little less fun. It got a lot big and a no fun. A little play for the baby berrykins was a fun idea, but I kind of went overboard. <laughs> I bet everyone is mad at me. Oh, they aren't mad at you. They're all on stage, waiting for their next directions. Really? Maybe you could do a different play, something on a smaller scale, so you could have fun directing it. You think they'd give me a second chance? Everyone loves you, Plum. Of course. Are you on it, everyone? I have an announcement. If you're willing to help me with another play, I promise we'll do something simple and fun. Something the little berry kins will love. <laughs> oh, well, I, uh, I found a story that sounds like fun. And when can we start? How about tomorrow morning? So exciting. What a great idea, Apple, to expand our dessert line to our own dog biscuit business. Okay, Apple. Ready to be part of our very best biscuit assembly line? After I decorate the biscuits with doggy-friendly icing, you wait for the icing to set, say, a couple of minutes, then wrap each biscuit in a piece of the pink cellophane and tie on a ribbon. These are already set. I'm on it. Great, cause here we go. Another batch is done. If you find any that are broken or messy, just toss them in the discard box. These will be for the pups of Berry Bitty City. Won't they be pleased? This one's going all the way to Berry Far Flung Township. They ordered six boxes. You know, these don't really look like dog biscuits. They don't? No, they really look more like cookies. <laughs> I see. Yeah, they do look pretty delicious, don't they? Like iced sugar cookies. Well, there isn't any reason we couldn't eat them. They're made from all-natural, people-friendly ingredients, but they just look sweet. They're really more savory-flavored. That's what dogs like. Savory? Yum! Strawberry means like the pretty icing doesn't have any sugar in it. It's sweet potato flavored. Dog friendly, of course. Sweet potato flavored? Yum! Mmm! <laughs> Ew, gross. I saw what you did. What? She ate a dog biscuit. Apple ate a dog biscuit. Apple ate a dog biscuit. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, Sour. They have the same ingredients as a sweet potato cracker. Sweet and I taste tested them. Why don't you try one? Ew, no way. I'm not a four-legged creature who eats off the floor and wags its tail. <laughs> <laughs> like some people we know. <laughs> <clears throat> These are ready to go to the post office, Sour. I think you went a little too far with your teasing. Why not apologize to Apple? <sighs> oh, Senorita Sensitive. Sorry, Apple, I was just kidding. <laughs> Really think Madame Key Lime could have done it? I wouldn't cross Madame Key Lime off your list of suspects if I were you, girls. Sour. Hi, guys. Strawberries homemade triple berry muffins and spiced hot cider. Yum. That's so sweet of Strawberry to send those over and for you to bring them, Apple. How's the book? Great. Suspenseful. Predictable. Can I pour you some nice hot? Sour, are you turning into a werewolf? Didn't you guys know Apple eats dog biscuits? <laughs> yep, I saw her this very morning chowing down on, yeah, dog food. <laughs> 
She only tried one of our sweet potato doggy biscuits. <laughs> Told ya! <laughs> Sour, be nice or you can be excused from book club. Politeness is another one of our rules you seem to have forgotten. Oh, come on! I was only fooling around. You guys are so stern. <sighs> Sorry, Apple. Apple, once more, please. That's okay. Try and relax. Hi, Sour. Can we help you? <laughs> Sour, stop your teasing. Can't you see we're having a lesson? Sorry. Just kidding. <laughs> That's the last pineapple. You mean the last straw? Uh, yeah, sorry. On Berry Bountiful Island, they say last pineapple. But straw, pineapple, whatever. It's on now. Apple, where are you going? You were doing so well with your arpeggios. My arpeggios can wait. In the Berry Big Outback, when someone insults you three times, you're required to defend your honor. Uh, I'm not sure what is required in Berry Bitty City, but I don't think it's that. <laughs> Lemon? I really like the new shampoo you're using. It smells great. New? This is the same shampoo I've been using for weeks. <laughs> Hmm, that doesn't make sense. Smells like... Sandalwood? It's supposed to be lavender. <laughs> <laughs> that sandalwood smells familiar. <laughs> hey! How did dog shampoo get into this? Bottle. This is definitely my sandalwood scented dog shampoo. <gasps> <laughs> Didn't you all know? Sour likes to have her hair washed with dog shampoo, followed by a good testing of flea powder. I'll have my usual, please. Oh, it's over there at that table. Sour already got it prepared for you at a special table. <laughs> Wasn't that nice? Ah. ah! <laughs> <gasps> What's wrong? <gasps> my tablecloth! Queen of Berryvania, and your Royal Highness, Princess Berrykin. 
thank you for your testimony. Ladies of the jury, you've heard the witnesses' testimony. How at our annual croquet tournament, our visiting royalty was soaked from head to toe with sparkleberry goop. And you've seen the damaged property from the cafe. All this caused by the feud between Sour and Apple. Have you reached a decision? <clears throat> we have. We all think a fair way to work this out is for Apple and Sour to spend the weekend camping at Berry Beautiful Meadow. Alone. <gasps> Together. <gasps> Okay, we're off. You're on your own. We'll see you back in town Sunday night. No earlier than sunset. Try and get along, please. you made me do. That looks... looked... good. I'm sorry. Never mind. I can always make another one. Really? <laughs> going to keep bothering me by speaking, you might as well say something useful. If you make me one of those, I'll set up your tent. And my air mattress? Hmm. Okay, I'll blow up your air mattress if you make me dessert. Uh, oh, all right. Deal. Mm. This is... Pretty good. The campfire is not bad. Um, thanks for uh, making it. <laughs> You're welcome. This is better. Thanks. Dinner was um really good. <laughs> as good as the oatmeal I made you. <laughs> I have to admit, I really had you. You looked pretty goofy. Yeah, yeah, but my sprinkler thingy was worse. It's really all my fault. I started the whole thing with all my dog teasing. I'm sorry. Do you think they'll ever forgive us? I hope. Let's make it up to them. How? By you and me not playing any more pranks. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you hear giggling? Bouncing boysenberries. Look at them. Well, that worked better than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, Hi, girls. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't around to help with the biscuits this weekend. And I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Sounds like you and Sour worked things out. I'm glad. Sour is pretty cool. I hope she likes me. But I don't even cook. <sighs> I wish I was more like her. How about you help us by making your own biscuit recipe? My own? Really? 
Sure. We'll get you started and you can make up your own flavorings. You know, stuff doggies will like. Tea time! I have something for you. It's turtle shaped. I made it for you. My own recipe. It's carrot flavored. Okay, one for Scouty, one for Marmalade, one for Chiffon. Huh, where are you going? <gasps> Doesn't like my biscuits. I must be a terrible cook. What'll I do? I can't give the other pups the biscuits I made them. They won't like them either. What if I gave you a crash course in cooking? Really? Would you, Sour? But you have to be serious and pay attention and follow orders. I promise. First, a cup of flour. Then a teaspoon of salt. Cup of flour, teaspoon of salt. <sighs> oh, great. Just great. Cup of oil, teaspoon of paprika, tablespoon of lemon juice. <sighs> oh, great. Just great. I knew it! I'm brilliant. Brilliant. Mmm. You are. You're a natural chef, Apple. Really, Sour? But I taught you everything you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I mean, how could sweet pet primrose be so, so fiendish? People always have a dark side, Sweet. Sweet doesn't have a dark side. <laughs> Hi, Apple. Glad to see you. Whatever. Brought the cider. So, who done it? Who knows? We're only on chapter four. Some people don't like to skip to the end. You want to know the real mystery? It's that you all sit here every week wondering about it instead of finishing the book at home. That was pretty good. Have a popover. I made him myself. Sour helped me. She taught me everything I know. Psych! <laughs> no, here, just kidding. They're really good, Apple. I knew it. I'm brilliant. Catch you later. Gotta go visit with my real friends. <laughs> See you! Not if I see you first. What? You were right about the dark side. What did you do to her? Just gave her a cooking lesson. And she's a natural. And there was nothing natural about that. Nothing naturally. Apple, she's acting like... like you. Oh, no. She's a... sour... Apple. You know, last time, Lemon, my polish chipped in one day. Maybe a free makeover is in order? Well, I did warn you to wait till it dried, but you rushed out of here. I don't have time for slow drying polish. <sighs> it's normal drying, but hey, Beauty Betty, are you paying attention to what you're doing? <gasps> what did you say? You got polish on my fingertip. Do you think you can keep it on the nail, or do we need to get you connected dots? <gasps> Whoa. Apple, what's gotten into you? What's gotten into me? Hmm. I think I learned to cook in one day, but Lemon needs to go back to beauty school for, like, 
forever. <gasps> Apple? I've had it with this chop shop. Good luck, good riddance, and good bye. <laughs> Sour? Oh, it's you. You what? I want to give you a free makeover to correct what happened this morning. Uh-huh. Well, I guess so. Now that's more like it. Hello, Apple. Uh, what's the deal? How can I get my free makeover with all these customers ahead of me? Oh, no, no, no. You're first in line. They've been waiting for you. Oh, well, that's better. Sit here by me. We just want to tell you what we think of the new apple. New apple? You see, we really miss the old apple. You used to be so sweet. And now you say mean things that hurt our feelings. But I thought you'd like me more. I'm glad you and I are friends. And I'm flattered you like me, but I don't want you to act like me. You don't? Just cook like me. <laughs> don't you think one meanie in Berry Bitty City is enough? Oh, I guess so. I miss the old apple, too. You mean you already liked me the way I was? Yes! And maybe the old apple could give me a crash course. In what? Friendliness. Hey! That's what Tea Time did with my biscuit! He didn't like it. Oh no! They're saving them for later! To a pup, that's the highest compliment. You mean? Yep! Tea Time loves your cooking. Just the way it was. Even before I taught you everything you know. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, this is where it happens, right here. The whole town's gonna show up right here for the Glimmerberry Gathering. So we want this place spotless. No, 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 no. Now, everybody, look lively, look lively. <laughs> Come on, let's move it, move it, move it, folks. Uh, uh, I'll get it. You don't need any help. I can do it. Oh, we're working on this together. <laughs> season of the year. Okay, now, let's make this whole place sparkle. Looks 
like some sort of old box. Wonder what's in this. Sorry. There's a book in here. The one we used to read for First Frost. <laughs> yes, here it is. It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help. It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original, one of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> Here they come! Hi, Strawberry! Strawberry! Glad you could make it. Oh, thanks for coming. Come on in. Take a seat anywhere you like. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this, Strawberry. In the old days, this was my favorite part of First Frost. This is a very fun time of year, with celebrations and the Glimmerberry Ball and Glimmerberry Gathering. But sometimes, maybe we forget how important it is. That's why we always used to read this book, The Great Glimmerberry Gathering. It tells the story of the very first First Frost. Long ago, when Berry Bitty City was a very bitty place, Everyone worked hard to help the new town grow. Together, they planted the seeds that would become the beautiful, bountiful berry grove. Oh. But the first winter of that first year was not easy. The weather turned quite cold. Some of the townsfolk were trapped in their houses by snowdrifts, and others had to dig them out. Some townsfolk ran low on food they stored for winters, and others shared what they had. As the days went by, it only grew colder, <gasps> and colder, and colder still. It looked like the young berry plants might die. That's when the first glimmer berry was carved and made into a beautiful glowing lantern, because it was important to- Wow! They've been carving glimmer berries that long? That's right, for many years. <laughs> I have no idea. And so today, when we take the carved berries to the I field, never knew there was a, a real reason for it. I thought we did it because it's fun. It is fun, but it's also important because... This year, I'm going to carve the most beautiful berry ever. Of course, we have to remember why we carve the berries. See, in the story, it says... Oh, oh. I'm going to start work on my daring design right now. Oh, me too, me too. But don't you want to hear the rest of it? Oh yeah, but I really want to get working on some designs. Why wait till the last minute? I am going to absolutely outdo myself this year. Great idea. Let's hurry. Time's wasted. Gotta get busy. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. But, um... Oh. I guess... They didn't think the story was so important. I'm sorry, Princess Berrykin. 
maybe the time wasn't right. But someday, Strawberry, you'll help them see the real reason for the gathering. I know you will. <sighs> But not good enough. Not original. One of a kind. Never been seen before enough. Hmm. I'm going to put my whole heart into this one. It's got to be the greatest, most beautiful. Hmm. No, that's not it. Aha! Yes! Oh, yes! I think I'm on to something. A little bit more here, a little bit less there. That's it! I bet no one has ever seen a design like this before. <laughs> Glimmerberry design? No. I mean, maybe? I mean, I don't know. I mean, why? I was just asking. I didn't see it. Not even for half a second? Well, maybe half a half second, but that's not why I stopped by. <laughs> I just wanted to be a surprise. <laughs> I understand. I want my design to be a surprise, too. I just wanted to ask if I could borrow some drawing paper so I could make my Glimmerberry design. I have it in my head, but if I don't draw it soon, it might disappear. <laughs> of course. That's how my idea came to me. It just seemed to magically pop into my head. <laughs> Here you are. Ooh, this one seems pretty good. Nice shape, great size. I think I'll go for it. How about you, Strawberry? Any luck? I'm leaning toward this one. What do you think? It's a beauty, all right. Huh? Hey, Raspberry, have you picked a Glimmerberry to carve for the gathering? Oh, uh, yes, I have. And I better hurry home to carve it right now. <laughs> what was that all about? She wants her berry to be a big surprise. <laughs> Where's everybody going? Over to Strawberries. We're going to show each other our Glimmerberry designs. Are you coming, Raspberry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm certainly sure not going to show anybody my design until my berry is carved. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, yes. oh that's cool. I think it's Can I go first? Can I, please? Sure, Plum. Go ahead. It took a while to get it just the way I wanted it. But what do you think? <gasps> it's oh, almost exactly like mine. That's fantastic, Plum. Check this out. I did one sort of like it. Hey, I did too. What do you know? Me too. Wonder how that happened. It happened because Orange copied my drawing. But, but, Raspberry, I haven't even seen your drawing. Uh, well, of course not. Then how could she have copied it? Uh, well, she saw blueberries, and blueberries saw plums, and plums saw lemons, and lemon saw mine. You're just, uh, joking. Right, Raspberry? <laughs> I do not think this is a joke. Now, let's stay calm and figure this out. I worked very hard on that design. I wanted to make something special and totally original for the Glimmerberry Gathering. I put my whole heart into it. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. Of course there is. Everybody copied me. You can count me out. I'm not going to carve a Glimmerberry this year. But, Raspberry, we need you. We can't have the Glimmerberry gathering unless... everybody's there. You know, I don't like to say this, but maybe Raspberry's right. Maybe Orange did copy my sketch. 
I didn't want to say anything either, but I was thinking Lemon might have been copying too. I hate to even think it, but I have a feeling maybe Plum did copy my sketch. Uh, strawberry? We have a little problem. I'm starting to think that there has been some copying going on. Oh, Plum, really? Blueberry was hanging around my place that day and... I heard that. Am I being accused of copying? Look, I'm just saying... But it was Orange who copied me. I didn't copy anybody. Are you sure it wasn't you who copied me? Now, come on, everybody. Let's not get carried away. Carried away with what? We're talking about copying. I said it didn't copy. Girls, who's copying? Girls, who's copying? Who's copying? Who's copying? Who's copying? Who's copying? Who? And one accused the other, and on and on it went, and now... No one wants to carve berries. And without everyone cooperating together, well, the gathering just cannot be. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel the celebration. Thanks, Custard. Oh, Cupcake. I know you want to help, but there's nothing we can do. Won't be needing this anymore. On a minute. Oh. oh, oh, now it all makes sense. Now I know exactly what to do. <laughs> meeting, meeting time. Meeting at the cafe. Blueberry, raspberry, orange, lemon, everybody. Come on over as soon as you can. Tell everybody, anybody. Everybody, important meeting right now. What's happened? What's this all about, Strawberry? Yeah, what's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. <laughs> When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that? the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin, but then they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked. The plants were saved. But only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait, that's, that's, that's my design. That's right. And I drew one just like it. Hey, me too. So did I. We all did. I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. 
that's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then, then, I accused you all of copying me when you didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kind of, sort of, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> Let's do it! Come on! Let's do it! Come on, everybody! How's this looking? Awesome! How about this one? Looking good, Orange. Uh, you missed a little spot there. Is everybody just about done? Yeah! yeah. Give me another oh, second! Give me, give me another second! I'll let him know it's time. Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? Thank you! Video take number... What is it now? 23! Take 23. Hi, everyone. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Tonight, I'm making Myrtle Berry Meringue. It's a great favorite here at Strawberry's Cafe in Berry Bitty City, and it's such a fun recipe. Of course, the most important ingredient is... a big bowl of merry, mirthful, mirthful berries. I mean, Myrtle. Myrtle berries. Oh, sorry. Cut! That's a mirthful mouthful. Take 24. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful myrtle berries. Uh, oh, no, oh! oh, cut! I'll tell you one thing, Strawberry. Don't quit your day job. Sour? What? Quiet on the set, please. Oh, sorry. Was I holding you up? like it makes a difference. They say they're going to play this video on a skirt they're inventing. That's also a video screen. I mean, seriously? <laughs> Sour, please. Take 25. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful oh, myrtle berries. Cut! What? <gasps> One more time. Quiet on the set. Take 26. 
Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of Merry Mirthful Myrtle Bow. <sighs> oh, not again. Oh, power's been going off all day. We'll never get our video done. What are they doing down at the Berry Works power station? <laughs> Finally, take 27. How are you whiz kids gonna enter a technology in fashion contest with no technology? We'll have to continue later, whiz kids. It's getting dark and I need to take care of deliveries at the marketplace. But first, I'm gonna find out what's going on at the Berry Works. Gary! Ah! Oh. Somebody cap that cracked crenellator! Bouncing bitterberries! What happened, Barrick and Bruce? Uh, Sparkleberry strainer popped a grommet. Oh, looks bad. Uh, not as bad as when the peach pit pulverizer exploded. We were up to our pips and pulp for a week. Hey! Move that mango masher! No, not that one! The other one! Uh, don't worry, Barricans are on the job. The power will be up and down tonight, but we'll have it fixed by first thing in the morning. I hope. Come on, Barrykins! This whole place looks like it's too very short of a fruit salad! I'd better tell the girls it's a wrap till tomorrow. Oh, uh, Strawberry Shortcake speaking. Hi, Cousin Strawberry. Apple Dumpling? <laughs> I haven't talked to you in forever. How are you? I'm great! Always on the move, you know. Gotta see what's over that next hill, as we real travelers say. Thought I'd call and let you know I was thinking of stopping by for a quick visit. Oh, I'd love to see you. Things are just a little... crazy right now. When were you thinking of arriving? I'm guessing in about five, four, three, two, one. Huh? Poor butterflies couldn't slow us down. Are you all right? Sure. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, this was nothing. Did I tell you about the time I climbed Mount Macadamia and discovered it's a volcano? That's right. I saw your post on your very best bits page, but sure you're all right? Well, I had to dodge some lava chunks the size of a house when it erupted, but other than that... Uh, no, I mean the crash. This? Ah, this was no crash. The time I went over Crabapple Falls in a kayak, that was a crash. There I was, down the creek without a paddle, when all of a sudden... Oh, I almost forgot. Tea time. Oh, okay, I'll make us both a cup as soon as we get to town. No, tea time turtle. There he is. He goes everywhere with me. I'm so glad you came to visit. I save every postcard you send me. <gasps> Everyone's gonna be so excited to meet you. We all follow you on Very Best Bits and love all your pics and posts. Now, I don't want to cause anybody any bother. I just dropped by for a quick visit. I'll be gone before you can say, planes, trains, and airplanes. But you just got here. Oh, well, you know how it is when you're a world traveling adventurer. You have so many pen pals to visit, you can't stay in one place for long. Can you stay just a little while? The Barricans will have to fix the bus, and they're all busy now. <gasps> you can stay overnight with me! Well, I guess I could stay just one day. A real bedroom would be nice. I'm used to sleeping in my tent or the cabin on my little one-girl sailboat. I mean, one-girl and turtle sailboat. Right, tea time? Tea time? <laughs> oh, there you are. Sorry I can't be a better host, but I have to get all that stuff ready for tomorrow's customers. Oh, let me help. I can turn any boring chore into an adventure. Did I tell you about the time I hitched a ride on a cargo ship and helped the crew swab the deck by getting a whale to splash it clean? Oh, yeah. I read about that on your Very Best Bits feed. Didn't the ship kind of get, um, full of water? <laughs> yep. I turned it into the biggest swimming pool ever. Hmm. I, uh, see what you mean. And how did the 
Captain feel about that? You should have seen his face. It was so sweet. I guess nobody had ever done something like that for him. He just sat there and cried. I can imagine. Leave it to me. I've got all kinds of ideas how to get this organized. No, 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 that's okay. I mean, you're my guest. You just get settled upstairs and I'll see you after I'm done working. Well, okay. You sure? <laughs> Very sure. Well, Barrack and Bruce said they'd get it fixed. So I'll be at the cafe first thing in the morning. Thank you, Strawberry. Okay, Lemon. You have a good night, too. <sighs> Apple, it's me. Thought you might want to see my collection of your postcards. Apple? Surprise! <laughs> well, are you ready? <laughs> For what? This. <laughs> the Crystal Crater Caverns that I explored. Isn't it just amazing? Yes, it's amazing that you can do something like this, but do you think we could turn it off so we could get some sleep? Oh, oh sure, no problem. Oops. <laughs> I got so excited I forgot to add an off button. But don't worry, the lights will run out of juice on their own. Uh, when will that be? About sunrise? my very best bits followers of Apple's amazing adventures, I begin the story. Oh, thanks, Tea Time. I begin the story of my latest adventure, Avalanche Surfing, How I Rode the Wild Snow. Oh, <laughs> well, hi there. Do you like my adventure story? Well, would you like to hear more? Yeah! Well, there I was. Ooh. High up in the Apricot Alps. Ooh. Snowboarding an avalanche. Ooh. Faster and faster, I raced down the slope. The avalanche was hot on my heels. And then, all of a sudden... Ooh. Wait a minute. Why tell you about it when I can show you? Come on! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> okay, 
Once we install this valve, we're back in business. Ready? One, two, three! Ah! 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 Now let's see if it works. And hop! Widget to ratchet into the fairy juice system, and you have a snow making machine. <laughs> oh no! Come on, everybody! Show cooking video take what is it now? 153 Take 153. Now remember, once we've mashed our myrtle berries, we need to blend them for only one minute. If you blend too long, it will foam up and get all over. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't get much sleep last night. Cut! Take 154. Strawberry. Uh, Cut! 155. Remember, we need to blend our Myrtleberry meringue only for a minute. If we blend too long, it'll foam up and get all over everything. I think she's got it. I think this take is going to be the one. <laughs> Gonna go wrong. Quick, shut it down. Shut it down. Smashed mangoes. What is it? Another popped grommet? No, this is worse. A blowout in the juice cooler. What could have made that happen? Not what? Who? Strawberry? Apple? Can we talk? I've thought about it, and I think it's best if I just leave. <laughs> Come on, Apple, don't go. Everybody feels bad about what happened, but we can work it out. We're family here. I don't want to leave, but I have places to go, people to see. Gotta find the next big adventure for my very best bits feed. Being a famous traveler is what I do. It's why people like me. 
Is that why you don't stay with anyone for very long? Oh, strawberry. I'm not like you and everybody else here. Having something you do that people need. At least stay until the Barricans can fix the bus. Oh, I can fix the bus faster than you can say batten down the hatches. It's my fault it crashed in the first place. I got curious how the booster worked and I uh, tried to improve it. <laughs> I guess I improved it too much. Fixed? How'd you do that? I don't know. I just kind of look at stuff and I see how it works. See you, Strawberry. Well, but call, okay? Send me a postcard. I will. Strawberry! <gasps> All right, where is she? That cousin of yours, where'd she go? Oh, what'd she do this time? Do? You're not gonna believe it. I don't know how she could have done such a thing. Ooh, that bad, huh? Bad? No! It's good! It's great! It's brilliant! She fixed the power system! Better than new! She's a genius! Best Sparkleberry techie in the very bitty world! Where is she? I gotta hire her! This town needs her! It keeps saying she's out of range. What'd she do? Leave town? Apple! 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 Oh, I think we're lost. Huh? Huh? you to give me and my crew a crash course in fixing stuff. Apple, I want you to tell the kids your adventure stories at story time. We all want you to stay. There's no one aboard? How to do that? Automatic return. A little feature I added tells the butterflies when you don't need the bus anymore. Because you know you're not gonna leave when you know you found the people you wanna stay with and the place you wanna stay. Welcome home. 